guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing some more Fortnite nails. This time I'm doing some nail art inspired by the character Zoe. So if you're interested to know how I did this nail art then just keep on watching. I'm gonna be showing you the nail art on these false nails I glued onto toothpicks and I went ahead and painted them the following colors. And starting on the first nail design, which is on the thumbnail and it has a white base, I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to sketch on the outline of her head, neck, shoulders, and her hair. Now, I know Zoe's pigtails are out to here, but as you can see, the nail is too narrow, so I'm going to have to drag the pigtails down here to cover up the shoulders. Okay, so now the outline is done and the black acrylic paint has dried, so I'm going to go in and start filling in her hair as well as her face and, well, yeah, just start filling in everything. Of course, I'm going to use two different shades of pink for her hoodie as well as her hat. Okay, so by now her face has completely dried and I'm going to do this off camera but I'm going to go in with some black acrylic paint and a safety pin and I'm just going to paint on the outline of her eyes and her eyelashes. And while that's drying I'm going to go in with some baby pink acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint on her lips. So I'm not going to make Zoe look exactly how she looks in the video game. She looks more like an anime character, at least that's how I do my nail art. So in the meantime I'm just going to go in with some white acrylic paint and just fill in her eyes. And I'm also going to go ahead and just add three little dots right here and whenever that white dries I'm going to go in with some red acrylic paint and add the swirls for the peppermints. So I'm going to go back and work on her eyes. Now her eye color is green and so is her hair and like traditional anime characters I'm going to paint her eyebrows green rather than brown. But like I said that's completely optional. I just want her to look like an anime character. But anyways I'm now just going to add two little tiny dots of white inside the eyes. And yeah here's the finished nail design. Now moving on to the next nail design, which is going to be on the index nail and has a white base. Okay, well this isn't really a nail design, but I'm going to go in with some nail art charms that look like lollipops and add them to the nail. Now this is not sponsored or anything, but I got these off Daily Charm and as you see, they come in so many different colors. But for this design, I am just going to use the green and the pink since, you know, those match Zoe's colors and I am just going to add them on the nail. To secure them, I am just going to go in with the top coat that I'm going to use. In this case, I'm using some matte top coat and I'm just going to add a generous amount. And before the top coat has plenty of time to dry, I'm just going to use my scissor tweezers and pick up the nail charms and place them like so. Now, I didn't have a nail polish that matched the pink I wanted, so I painted the middle and the pinky nail with this pink acrylic paint. But yes, so this is the third nail design, which is going to be on the middle nail, and this is inspired by Zoe's hoodie. So using the same green I used for her hair, I'm just going to draw like a, yeah, like a little V shape. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the details that are on her jacket. So I went back in and filled in the acrylic paint later because it was a little patchy. But anyways, here's the finished nail design. So moving on to the fourth nail design, once again I had to use acrylic paint as the base. To get the color to match her leggings, I just mixed those two colors together and then I added it throughout the entire nail. So I let that layer of acrylic paint completely dry and now I'm going to go back in with those same two colors and one dot of black. I mixed the colors up really good and now I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and uh, yeah, I'm just going to paint on a bunch of stripes. And now going in with my toothpick because it's a little bit finer, but I'm just going to add one thin line up under all the other lines. And here's the finished nail design. So for the fifth and final nail design, this is inspired by her boots. So I'm going to go in with some dark brown acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint on a bunch of shapes for Oreos. And whenever the brown completely dried, I'm now going to go in with some white and I'm just going to add like a bunch of lines to kind of make them look like Oreo filling. And here's the completed nail design. 
Now, because I used acrylic paint throughout this whole mani, I'm going to add a top coat just to secure it as well as smooth out any bumpiness the acrylic paint may have caused. Now, personally, I like the matte finishes, but feel free to add a shiny or even a hollow taco. But anyways, guys, here is the finished Zoe from Fortnite Inspired Nails. Like I said guys, I really wanted Zoe to look more like an anime character since that's how I like to do my nail art. Still, I think she looks super cute and it's been a while since I've done any Fortnite themed nails on my channel. Regardless, I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys and yeah, as always, thanks for watching!